guys so this video I'm going to make today would be a demo on how to use open DNS on a PF sensor router or not only PF sensor but any router actually so uh, open DNS is actually a DNS filtering a web filtering uh, feature that is free to be used uh, they have subscription for more features but the free version is actually good enough I've been using it for a long time in our uh, company and it works very good so if you're having problems with web filtering you cannot buy your own UTM the company cannot afford that one you can use this one actually so I'm going to show you that one so the main goal here is just to change the DNS settings for our PFSense or if you are using any router or router at home you can use that one also okay so for the demo let's go to general setup and then make sure that we have the DNS server settings for this one. Now, where are we going to get that one? We need to go to OpenDNS.com. So here at OpenDNS.com, you need to create a um, account here to register your public IP so that the DNS filtering will work. Now, the DNS uh, IP are actually listed below here. We have it here. Okay, so let's just copy paste this one. Copy and then go here and then paste and then we can go back there and then copy and then paste back there you go and then let's just save this one um okay uh, we need to uncheck this one allow dns okay we need we do not need this one okay and then we will just save that one now after saving um okay there it goes we also need because this is the DNS settings for the firewall itself we also need to change or configure the DHCP server okay the DHCP server is the one giving IP to the clients and we want the clients to have the DNS IP address of open DNS so at the same time I'm just going to copy and paste this one paste and then go here copy again this one copy and then paste Okay, there you go and then let's just go ahead and save that one all right so next up we're going to do is like what I've said we need to create an account so for me I've already created you can go here and click on uh, personal I will redirect you to some of the uh, uh, selections you have here so you can see it actually down here you have open DNS family shield free all okay, right this is you, you sign up for open DNS home all okay, right this is actually free and then you have a open in home VIP that costs you $19.95 so um, uh, you can have that one if you have some cash in your pocket but uh, if you cannot support the one this is good enough to be used so uh, after creating your account for me I'm already logged in I'm going to show you so if you're logged in already this is how it looks like now for the first time that you are going to log in there's some message here that you need to verify the Gmail or the email account you have registered okay if you are not going to verify that one uh, this uh, DNS uh, filtering will not work so the first thing I'm going to do if you can see it here uh, open DNS actually uh, detects automatically my IP address there you go over there now the first thing we're going to do is go to network okay so after I created uh, I created a already added this network let's just go here so for you to see I'm just going to go to this network manage this one I'm just going to delete this one I just want to delete this one so that I'm going to show you how, how it's done so uh, if you can see here by the time if there is no IP address added or network added on this uh, open DNS it will automatically detect the IP address you are using okay the public IP address now for me it's already there okay I'm using that IP address so I'm going to add this network okay and then uh, I'm going to give it a name I'm going to give it test okay and it will ask you is this a dynamic IP no it's not it's static so if it's dynamic uh, you need to make sure that you you have this one checked because dynamic changes uh, every time okay so I'm going to pick that one and then go proceed so it's actually added here and then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to click on this one uh, there you go it will give me a few uh, 
predefined settings high moderate low and then we have custom so uh, we'll just go and click on high anyways we can customize that one so I'll just click on high and then we can customize actually so you can see it here it will actually block these categories and then I'm going to save this one apply okay Right. Okay, so we need to wait for three minutes to apply. Okay, so while waiting, I'll just post the video. And then we can try this one. Let's try uh, social networking. Facebook. Uh, Facebook is uh, uh, giving us this one because it's being blocked by OpenDNS. Now, if your connection is actually fast, this will not show. Uh, it will show up the settings on what we have here. You can actually put the logo of your company you can go to customization and then you can actually change this one uh, what will happen here is sometimes it appears like this but sometimes it will show the the logo of open DNS okay so here if you can actually change this one you can upload your own logo and then you can show contact form for admin okay okay so sometimes uh, when I was using this one by experience, sometimes it looks like this, but sometimes your logo will appear here in some contact uh, form here. Okay, so not only that you can do with uh, Open DNS security. Yeah, you have also malware botnet protection here. Okay, you can enable the one as actually enabled. You can also block internal IP addresses. Okay, from coming up from uh, your one site, it will block all this IP address because those are internal IP. And at the same time, we just want to go back to our uh, web filtering. Go back to web filtering. And uh, I didn't show you some. Okay, you can also add um, websites here. So you can see, you can block, let's say, I don't know what kind of uh, website you want to block, let's say LinkedIn. LinkedIn always block LinkedIn.com you can do it like that and uh, yes uh, okay it is actually added in the category uh, here in the category of the social networking site so it's giving us this one so just this yes just add it and you can also allow never block let's say uh, youtube.com youtube.com so even if you have blocked some uh, category up here regarding videos uh, it will not block YouTube because it says never block okay and you can delete that one so if you have any questions you feel free to comment and ask questions uh, I hope you this would be very informative for you guys and it will help you with your journey with uh, uh, networking see you again next time request for videos if you want to and uh, have fun subscribe and enjoy